ladies and gentlemen, aviation geeks and frequent flyers. My name is David, I'm at New York JFK Airport today and welcome to this new episode of Brutally Honest, our airline review series where we take a closer look at whether airlines we fly on fulfill not just our expectations but your expectations. So today I'm flying on Singapore Airlines Airbus A380 from New York JFK to Frankfurt and if you don't know that this route exists it might surprise you a bit to see a Singaporean airline fly between the United States and Germany. But the reason for this route is actually fairly simple. Singapore is pretty far away from the United States so operating a non-stop flight between there and the US is extremely expensive because you know you need to carry a lot of fuel. It's also a very exhausting trip to spend 18 hours non-stop on a plane. So the New York to Singapore flight that operates non-stop is actually the longest flight on the planet and because it's so expensive to operate there is no economy class on this plane so it's only premium economy and business class so because of that Singapore Airlines operates a flight from New York to Singapore with a stopover in Frankfurt on the A380 that does include an economy class product and if they're not able to fill that flight between New York and Singapore with mm, passengers traveling all the way to Singapore then they also sell tickets between the New York and Frankfurt portion of the flight and that's what we're doing today and um, if you know Singapore Airlines you know that they have an, um, an incredible reputation they're known as being one of the best airlines on the planet and um, because of that we also are going to have fairly high expectations for today's flight and we're going to check whether it's actually the best way to fly transatlantic. So as always I asked you on our channel on the YouTube community page what your expectations would be for a flight like this in economy class. And a lot of you on the community page have mentioned that Singapore Airlines has a pretty great reputation which is why your expectations are rightfully so pretty high. And um, apart from the regular expectations that you would have on a normal transatlantic flight like uh, a complimentary hot meal, a blanket and a pillow, um, complimentary beverages, I mean that, that's a pretty standard uh, expectation as well. Um, there were some expectations that, that you mentioned over and over again um, that I'm going to check for you as well. Um, I've seen somebody say that they would expect there to be a cup holder with the seat, which is a very specific expectation, but something that I actually, I'm really curious about because it's such a simple feature um, that can be extremely useful, especially on, on red-eye flights when you want to sleep and you want to you know, put a tray table away while you're sleeping. Um, and surprisingly, there are very few airlines that have this. Um, and most of the airlines that do are pretty good airlines actually. So I think that is an interesting expectation to check and I'm going to, to take a look whether that is provided as well. Um, a lot of you have also mentioned um, that they would expect hot towels to be handed out before the meal services. And um, this is something rare in economy class these days, but some good airlines still do this. Um, so, you know, the best airline in the world. Um, I think it's fair to expect them to do this as well. I've then also seen, of course, the basic expectation for a universal power outlet and a USB port. I think this is something that nowadays every airline should provide in their long-haul economy class. Um, so I'm going to check that as well, of course. And then I have seen some of you mention that they would expect an amenity kit to be provided. And this is something very rare in economy class. There are some airlines that do this. I have experienced it a couple of times already. Um, but does the world's best airline do this on a red-eye flight? I think you could make an argument that this is a justified expectation, so I'm going to check it as well, um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't put my hopes up for that. So today's video was made possible by Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN provider, and um, if you don't know what a VPN is, you let me just quickly explain, because if you are traveling a lot and if you're using a lot of public Wi-Fi hotspots, I really recommend that you use one. So when you're sending data from your device to, let's say, Facebook, because you're logging into your Facebook account, your data passes from your phone to the Wi-Fi hotspot and then on to Facebook server. And while it passes through the Wi-Fi hotspot, oftentimes um, the data isn't very secure. People could hack into the Wi-Fi hotspot and then get your personal data. If you're using a bank account via a very weak, um, a very weakly secured hotel Wi-Fi, people could get your banking information, which could be um, extremely frustrating. Um, so investing in a VPN could really be worth it. So a VPN adds 
another stop on this route between your device and the final server. So on your device you have a piece of software that encrypts all the data that you're sending into the internet from, from your device and then while it passes through the Wi-Fi hotspot it is in fact encrypted. And then it doesn't go directly to Facebook server or your bank server, it goes to one of Surfshark's server where the data is then decrypted and then sent to the final destination. And um, this is something that can also be used to um, go around geoblocking. Some countries they block social media use, some countries block certain platforms or videos. Um, so you can just pretend to be in another country by using a VPN and when it passes through the service of the country outside of the country it's encrypted and nobody really knows um, that you're using Instagram in China. So um, I highly recommend that you check this out. If you use the coupon code SIMPLYAVIATION, Surfshark is giving you 83% off a 24 month membership and that is a pretty incredible offer that, that I couldn't say no to. Um, and Surfshark does, goes even uh, an extra step here because they offer you another month for free. So you're basically getting 25 months of VPN service for the price of 24 months and those 24 months are 83% off if you use the coupon code SIMPLYAVIATION. And I think that's a pretty good offer that you should definitely think about. It's not a big investment. Um, but it makes your data a lot more safe when you're traveling a lot, when you're using public Wi-Fi hotspots a lot. And I highly recommend that you at least think about it and consider it. So I'm now heading to the gate because the flight, well, it's not boarding soon, but um, I don't really have anywhere else to go right now. So um, let's just check out JFK's Terminal 4. In my opinion, one of the best terminals here at JFK. Um, if you know the airport, then you know that it's not very well known for being a great airport. But Terminal 4 is actually really pleasant. Um, it is very crowded, but at least it's very modern and clean. So, um, let's head to the gate. And my seat is going to be all the way in the back, but on the upper deck. Probably pretty much right above the Singapore flag that you can see right here. Because Singapore Airlines offers a little economy class compartment on the upper deck and there are some really great advantages to that that I'm going to show you um, once we're on board but um, if you ever fly on an airline in economy class on the A380 and there are seats available especially window seats on the upper deck I highly recommend that you are that you are going for one of those and even it's even worth to pay extra for them in my opinion so um, yeah I'll show you what's so different about them once we're on the plane The three items will be available once they've entered the boarding gate. Thank you for your patience, ladies and gentlemen. At this time, we would like to welcome our premium economy passengers, Chris White Lee Gold and Star Lions Gold, called Carnival to see it in Group 3, to proceed boarding now at Gate A7. Please have your passports and boarding passes in hand for final Thank you. document check. Duty-free items will be available once you enter the boarding gate. Hello, how are you? Hello. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Okay, I'm excellent, thank you. Through this galley, they make oh, it right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, thank you. Alright, so here we are on the upper deck and you can clearly see that the main advantage here is that the window seats have these storage boxes that you don't have on the lower deck. And in addition to that you only have 8 seats per row, meaning you only have 2 seats on the window side. So. The window seats clearly are the best ones on the plane here, especially because of these storage boxes. Thank you. 
Thank you. Meine Damen und Herren, wir zeigen Ihnen jetzt das Sicherheitsvideo und bitten um Ihre Aufmerksamkeit. As a safety equipment on this aircraft, you may differ from that on other aircraft. Please give us your attention as we bring you through this important safety briefing and on a journey through Singapore. <coughs> the seatbelt sign is turned on. Infants should be lifted from the bassinet and secured with an infant seat belt.
I'm good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to Frankfurt. I'm in the shower room in the Lufthansa lounge right now because this airport is so crowded. There is not a single place I could find where I could finish this video apart from this shower room. Um, yeah, um, a quick recap of the flight. Um, if you would have asked me to create a list of things that an airline should offer, a, a list that would make them the best transatlantic flight, it would be pretty much exactly what Singapore Airlines offered on this flight. And I was, I had high expectations for them, but they still exceeded my already pretty high expectations. So by a long shot, this is the best transatlantic economy class product that I've experienced so far, that I know of. Really, they, like they ticked all, all the basics that you would need for a good transatlantic economy class flight were there. It was a good in-flight entertainment system with a large variety of movies and TV shows. There was Wi-Fi available on board for purchase. There was a universal power outlet and a USB port available at the seat. There were plenty of storage compartments. There were good meals available. Um, the legroom was fine too. The crew was absolutely amazing, super professional, extremely friendly. Um, and yeah, and then there are also these little premium things that not that very few airlines actually offer. And Singapore Airlines provided them all on this flight. There were um, hot towels provided before the meal service. Um, there was a menu card for economy class. That is relatively rare. And on the first page of the menu card, they also displayed the kind of amenities they offer on this flight. Um, they did provide an amenity kit, um, as well as eye shades and a comb and earplugs. Um, those were available upon request, um, but they were still available, which is still pretty great. Um, they also offered metal cutlery with the economy class meal, which is also a feature that few airlines only offer. So to recap this flight, um, wow. Is it, was it a hundred percent? I would say it was 99%. The one thing that I, I thought was missing, um, I think you've heard me mention that in an earlier video before. I think every airline should offer at least one vegetarian meal option. And in economy class, the option for the main meal was just either chicken or fish. So I would have appreciated if it was chicken and uh, a vegetarian course. Um, or fish in a vegetarian course or something like that. But it's really the only little tiny thing that I could possibly complain about when it comes to this flight. Um, it was absolutely amazing. And um, if you ever consider flying from New York to Europe and you don't really care where in Europe you end up, fly to Frankfurt and take the A3 of Singapore Airlines. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. And last but not least, I want to once again thank Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Um, I really highly recommend that you check them out. Um, use the coupon code and the link in the description. Sign up and you get 25 months of VPN service for the price of 24 months. And these 24 months are 83% off. So that is pr probably the best offer for a VPN that you're going to find on the internet right now. So I highly recommend you to check it out. It is a really useful feature. I've been using it for, for two years now and uh, I do feel safer uh, when using Wi-Fi hotspots or public Wi-Fis like here in the airport. You never know how secure the Wi-Fi routers are. People could hack into them, um, get your personal information and by using a VPN you are encrypting that data. Um, there are also some, of course, there are a lot more advantages to that. I highly recommend to just Google what a VPN is and how it works and what advantages it can have for you. Um, and if you then decide to get one, you'll have the offer here on the channel. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you'll tune in next week for another episode of Brutally Honest. And um, with that, thank you very much for watching. Greetings from Germany, and I'll see you soon for a new video.